Sumayin niyo ang Panginoon. Ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon ayon kay San Lucas. Papuri sa iyo, Panginoon. Nang ikaanim na buwan na ng pagdadalang tao ni Elizabeth, ang anghel na si Gabriel ay isinugo ng Diyos sa Nazaret, Galilea sa isang dalaga na ang pangalan ay Maria. Siya ay nakatakdang ikasal kay Jose, isang lalaki buhat sa lipi ni Haring David. Paglapit ng anghel sa kinaroroonan ng dalaga, binati niya ito. Matuwa ka! Ikaw ay kalugod-lugod sa Diyos, wika niya. Suma sa iyo ang Panginoon. Nagulumihanan si Maria sa gayong pangungusap as, at inisip niyang mabuti kung ano ang kahulugan niyon. Kaya't sinabi sa kanya ng anghel, Huwag kang matakot, Maria, sapagkat kinalulugdang ka ng Diyos. Makinig ka. Ikaw ay maglilihi at manganganak ng isang lalaki at siya ay tatawagin mong Jesus. Siya ay magiging dakila at tatawaging anak ng kataas-taasan. Ibibigay sa kanya ng Panginoong Diyos ang trono ng kanyang amang si David. Magahari siya sa angka ni Jacob magpakailanman at ang kanyang paghahari ay walang hanggan. Paanong mangyayari ito gayong ako'y dalaga? Tanong ni Maria. Sumagot ang anghel, Bababa sa iyo ang Espiritu Santo at lililimang ka ng kapangyarihan ng kataas-taasan. Kaya't banal ang ipanganganak mo at tatawaging anak ng Diyos. Natatandaan mo ang iyong kamag-anak na si Elizabeth? Alam ng lahat na siya'y baog, ngunit siya'y naglihi sa kabila ng kanyang katandaan. At ngayon, ikaanim na nabuwan na ang kanyang pagdadalang tao, sapagkat walang hindi mapangyayari ang Diyos. Sumagot si Maria, Ako ay alipi ng Panginoon. Mangyari sa akin ang iyong sinabi at nilisan siya ng anghel. Mga kapatid, ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, may the Lord give you peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Those among you who are regularly working with a computer, a laptop, or maybe with a simple iPhone, know certainly the command reset when something doesn't work anymore. A reset is needed after a crash of the computer when one or several programs do not respond anymore. And such crashes happen also in our individual lives. It can be a disease that leads to a breakdown and requires a recovery, giving the body and soul time for a new start. A reset. Or someone loses the job, goes through a time of crisis, and must reorient his or her professional life. And in the history of mankind, 
something similar happened. Very early, a dangerous vi virus entered humanity and put seriously into question the healthy functioning of the world. In the Bible, we find this in the story of Adam and Eve after having eaten the fruit from the forbidden tree. Later, the church speaks about the original sin that has infected the heart of human beings. It has the potential to contaminate every action. And we experience that ourselves. It has the potential to damage. And the prophet, prophet Isaiah mentioned it when he blames the king Ahaz in today's first reading. Listen, are you not satisfied with trying the patience of men without trying the patience, patience of my God? Really, humanity needed a reset. We heard about it today in the Gospel, where God takes the initiative of a restart when his messenger, the angel Gabriel, said, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. The Virgin Mary was right from the beginning of her existence preserved from the original sin. And God reset in her the creation. The Annunciation to Mary is the moment when God restarts and reinitializes the history of mankind, creating a favorable condition for the incarnation of his Son. Mary was and is the instrument for a successful reset of the human history. And for this reason, we Christians are used to count the years after the birth of Jesus Christ. Of course, human beings never would have been capable to reset on their own. Only God has the power to do so, as we heard in the Gospel. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you with his shadow. The new beginning is possible as a work only of the Holy Spirit. No human quality, no virile potency, no goodwill of anyone could generate what was needed in this situation. It had to be God's work. And the Virgin Mary, as the Immaculate conceived, was prepared by God right from the beginning for the divine reset. She conceives by the power of the Holy Spirit and brings to the world the child who will be holy and will be called Son of God. This is the way how God repairs and restarts the broken system of humankind. <coughs> At the beginning, God has created everything good, including humanity. After the fall of Adam and Eve, he starts in Jesus a new creation. And we are called to be part of it of this new creation. We may refuse God's offer like King Achatz in the first reading, but God does not give up and continues to look after us. One thing is sure, the new creation in Jesus will last forever. And no longer there will be a breakdown. Because Jesus is with the words of the prophet and the evangelist Matthew, as we heard, Emmanuel, 
a name which means God is with us. God is with us at every moment, in every situation. There are many who would like to keep God out of the world, far away, keep distance. However, God does not want to absent himself. The opposite is true. He wants to interfere. He wants to be close, even to be one of us. He wants his place amidst our lives. Dear sisters and brothers, we are only a few days away from Christmas, the feast of the new creation God made in Jesus Christ. Let us have a look at our own life. There are so many things broken down in us and around us, broken promises, broken families, broken hearts. We can forward, go forward only because there is the one who will no longer break down, never more. If we trust in him, there is hope and there is possibility of a reset of our own life, not because of our own qualities, but because of the one who is Emmanuel, God with us. We may do it in the sacrament of reconciliation, in an act of mutual forgiveness, or in some other way. The only important thing is that we allow God to enter our lives and to be Emmanuel, God with us and God in us. Now we are like Mary, called to carry him with us in our hearts and to bring him in our families, in our communities, wherever we go, to bring him to the world. And this is certainly the best way of preparing a Merry Christmas. Amen. Humiling tayo sa Diyos Ama ng kalayaan mula sa kasalanan at kasamaan. Sa pamamagitan ng kanyang anak na siyang ating tunay na kalayaan. At tayo'y dumalangin. O Diyos, halinat kami palayain. Manatili na wang tapat kami ng iyong simbahan sa misyon ng pakikinig ng iyong anak upang ang aming pagpapatotoo ay tunay na maging mapagpalaya. Manalangin tayo. O Diyos, salinat kami palayain. Palayain na wang ang mga lingkod bayan ang mga nangangailangan ng iba't ibang uri ng kalayaan sa pamamagitan ng kanilang katapatan sa iyong kalooban. Manalangin tayo. Gawin mong mga kasangkapan kaming mga natitipon ngayon ng iyong pagpapalaya sa mundong nababalot ng kadiliman at paghihirap. Manalangin tayo. Makaranas nawa ng tunay na kalayaan ang mga kapatid naming yumao sa piling mo. Manalangin tayo. O Diyos, kami sa ilang sandali ng katahimikan, itas natin sa Diyos ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan, gayon din ang mga taong lubos na nangangailangan ng ating panalangin. Manalangin tayo.
O Diyos naming Ama, halina't kami palayain. Makita naman namin ang iyong anak bilang tanging daan tungo sa iyong paghahari. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristo na aming Panginoon. Amen. Tayo po ay magsiupo para sa pag-aalay ng mga handog. Tayo po ay magsitayo. 